Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Justin. And today we're gonna to answer some of your questions that you asked us on uh, Facebook and Instagram. So first question comes from Subi Ascent. What does PRP stand for? A lot of people actually don't know this. Uh, it stands for Premier Racing Products. Next question, uh, B. Stillman, how long are your seat belts good for? Um, I'm guessing he's kind of talking about the SFI rating on the harnesses. Um, if you're racing and you're using our harnesses, you'll notice that little white tag on a couple different spots in the harnesses. That's the SFI certification. Uh, it certifies them for strength and durability. Um, so if you're racing Snore, Best in the Desert, Score, things like that, you'll need to have that SFI certification on there. The certification only lasts two years. Um, SFI did a bunch of testing to look at UV exposure and how the harness material breaks down to water and moisture and all that stuff. Um, so every two years, if you're racing, you have to replace your harnesses. For play guys, um, it really depends on how badly your harnesses are beat up, how much um, exposure they've gotten to UV radiation, how much time they've been out in the sun and have gotten wet and things like that. So it's kind of more of how, how badly they've been beat up versus how long they're gonna last on there. Um, our best advice is to obviously always check your harnesses if they're starting to fray, if you're seeing kind of weird lines in them where you notice you know, they're starting to pull or if they've been in a previous accident where they had a lot of force put on them. Obviously, take a look at them, see if they need to be replaced on there. But that, for the play guys, it's a little bit harder to judge exactly how long they last. All right, Punk Rock Cycles asks, I want to test sit seats. How do I do that? So right now you can go to uh, any of our dealers and uh, if they have the seats in there, you can test sit seats in there. Or you can come down to our new showroom in Temecula and test seat or test sit in uh, the ones we have here, which we have every single model here and uh, you can pick and choose which one you like. Dalton M222 has asked, have you ever considered customizable harnesses? Um, we offer a little bit of customization on our harnesses. Uh, if you go to our website, you'll see the 5.3 custom. Um, it allows you to take our regular 5.3 harness and you can add clip-in adjustments on the end. You can have easy adjusters. You can add those to the lap belts. Um, and also we have Hans uh, shoulders available if you're using a Hans device. Um, we've looked into doing colors and stuff before, um, like crazy different colors and a lot of our harnesses, we slowly expanded the amount of color options we have available. Um, it's always kind of a give and take. Some of them work really well, like people really love the red and blue. Um, yellow almost never sells. Like we've been sitting on a lot of yellows for a lot of years and just can't get rid of them. So if you're um, out there, buy the yellow. Buy the yellows. Step up, <laughs> be trying different, to get, rid of them get the yellows. All right, Drew McKinney has asked, how long does it take to make a pair of seats? Uh, so it usually takes two weeks to make a seat, um, unless it is busy during desert season, or um, for right now, we just moved into a new warehouse, so seats are taking a little bit longer than two weeks, but traditionally, two weeks, you can get a completely custom seat. Which is pretty crazy. So Corey's Jeep CJ7 Adventures asked us, can you mount harnesses to the floor behind the seat in a Jeep? Uh, for the lap belts, you can mount them in there. Obviously, you want to have wide spacers and make sure they're securely uh, tied into the pan or the floor. Uh, for shoulders, though, you don't want to. Um, any shoulder harnesses, you always want to have wrapped around or connected to a harness bar that is basically level with your shoulders. That's the safest way to do it. And that's what all of our harness recommendations, that little sheet you'll get in your harness box, have on there. Um, basically, it comes to if you get an accident, you want the harnesses to, to basically pull flat versus if they're really down low or they're really up high, it's gonna put kind of weird unequal forces on your shoulders and it could injure you a lot more. So you always want your harnesses to be level or within 10 degrees on the shoulders. All right, so no fate, but what we make asked us, do the PRP seats raise you up in a razor? Uh, they actually sit about the same height as you would stock. Uh, we had a really good picture of Aaron who's 6'3". Um, sitting in general seats so you can kind of see the difference on there. Basically our seats head-wise is going to be exactly about the same. Um, on the bottom our seats are actually refined 
So the front of your legs and your knees are gonna be a little bit higher up. Your hips are gonna be a little bit farther down and you're actually gonna sit in a much more comfortable kind of natural seating position than stock is. All right, so Zachary, one, two, three, four, five, six, asked what's the best seat for a daily driver pre-runner but still good and safe for fun in the desert? So for daily driving, uh, for the pre-runner, I'm guessing you probably want more of a modern kind of elite series style seat. Um, so for the daily driving, you don't want kind of lower sides, more of a summit elite, where it has the low sides, it's easy and quick to get in and out of, but it still has that little bit of containment on the sides to kind of hold you in um, when you're bouncing around the desert and stuff like that. If you wanted more of a classic series type seat, um, the daily driver seat or the premier seat would both be really good options. Uh, that are fixed back. The daily drivers, kind of like the, the Summit, is going to have those real low sides on there that make it easy to get in and out of. The Premier is going to be very, very similar, just with a little bit more bolsters on the side. So if you wanted a little bit more containment, it'd be a good way to go. So if you have any additional questions or want more information about our products, you guys can always ask us questions on Instagram and, and Facebook. Or uh, call us here at the warehouse or email sales at prpsuits.com.